All right, back in the studio. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that video I just made of uh, how to scale your uh, objects that you have for the piece that you're working on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the thing set up and start cutting my clay. By the way, the, the little plastic box that you get on top of your GoPro, you can use this upper surface for your car mount and uh, make a temporary uh, movable or mobile uh, sculpting or not sculpting uh, tripod not tripod but you know something that mounts your camera that you can put anywhere you want to and that's what I'm going to do right now so I'm going to turn off the camera and do that all right guys I get the stuff out of the way here I want to put a cutting board down well for this I'm going to leave, use this one because I need to uh, cut this clay up value store it's got different little carbon compartments that you can make uh, different sizes and I put the different size screws all in one place so I don't have to search for them I've had this block of clay in here under the light for about a couple of days now it's cut up and I'm going to divide the clay down the middle I'll get this out of the way before it falls over. All right. Yeah. Right down the middle. And the reason I do that is because this blade is only so wide and I want to cut through the clay. So now, if you don't know what kind of clay I use, this is J Mac, the letter J dash M A C. And I get it from sculpturedepot.net and uh, good people over there. Now what I want to do is uh, cut it up into slices and throw it in my... Uh, Alright, I'm just going to continue cu cutting the clay up into workable pieces. This is just a little, it makes it a little easier to heat up the clay when you uh, have it in a smaller size. And uh, that's all I'm doing, using a pasta cutter. Not pasta. Well, maybe, it is. maybe it's a pastry cutter. I don't know. I get it at the bakery store. Tools are everywhere if you want to find them. All right, I'm going to continue this, and then we'll get started on the, uh, the play. Nearly sunset, and it's time to go home. 
I'll uh, pick up uh, this whole adventure uh, tomorrow and uh, start adding clay to the uh, skeletal structure of the uh, figure. Um, it's uh, it's going to move along pretty fast once I get started on it and uh, get get going. And uh, so just enjoy the scenery on the way home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. How to buy my uh, DVDs, my instructional DVDs, I just updated the uh, site so that you can purchase more than one at a time. People were having trouble buying more than one copy of my DVDs at once and so they were buying them one at a time which was bothersome for them and uh, I changed the button from uh, PayPal which also accepts uh, credit cards and, and debit cards as well. Uh, here's the website you go to, uh, A Day in the Life of a Lemon. And uh, up here in the upper right-hand corner is, uh, or column, is the area where you can purchase my DVD. Here is a translator uh, area. You can click on this little white area and drop mat down menu with uh, different languages uh, appears. And you can just pick the language that you have now this is the uh, add to cart button now this is the, the area that you buy my DVDs and you just drop down menu pick one it'll take you to PayPal if you don't want to use PayPal because you don't have a uh, uh, PayPal account uh, right below uh, the sign-in area for the PayPal is uh, the uh, credit card area where you can just click and use your credit card um, but anyway, you just make a selection, you go back to shopping cart if you want to buy more than one, and uh, just complete, and then repeat by just clicking on the ones that you want. Uh, I've got eight DVDs all together, 